Wait, one. Hello, Marina. Hi, mate. How are you, ma'am? Marina, did you um, see New York passed legalization of recreational marijuana today? I didn't hear that. Repeat. Uh, New York passed legalization yeah. of recreational marijuana. Yeah. Connecticut's getting surrounded. Yes, it is. Yeah. We have to, I don't know why we're dragging our feet. Um, we need to do it. Yeah. Uh -huh. I had asked, this is two years now, attorney Mennick to look at it for me to see what we can do here in Hamden. Um, we should, we once, you mean like independently? Um, no, no, I was looking to see if I'm then can plant and set and resale marijuana. That, that, that's my, 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 my yeah. position. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have Moretti Farm, we have the Powder Farm, we have that's, High Yeah, that's correct. We have the farm, we can utilize it, we can stabilize it, we can we can make sure it is not I can't correct. hear anybody. We can protect it. We can hear you, Kim. We can hear you, Kim. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we yes. can hear you. Yes. Yeah, I can't hear any any voices. I don't know what's going on. Um, Is your volume turned up? All right, let me check. I, I don't. Nothing's changed on these settings. I don't understand. Yeah. <sighs> That's why I no longer use my um, computer. I'm using my separate computer because it was the same thing that happened to me one night. I couldn't hear anyone. I'm like. <laughs> yeah, so we can we can do those things and we can get a great income from that in Hamden. Yeah. It is yeah. money that is just out there. Yes, it is. Hey, <laughs> let's try whatever. That's Stop why we need to send our letter. Did I'm you gonna send mail it yet? I emailed it to the delegation, but it, the governor and lieutenant governor do not have actual emails, so I need to print it and snail mail it to them. Do we need to do we need to hand deliver it? Okay, Kim. Yeah, maybe I can. Yeah, maybe we should. <laughs> I will go gladly. Go. Okay, that's a good idea. I will gladly go. Okay, yeah, that depends on the timing, <laughs> but I could, but I could be convinced. <laughs> I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, Brad. Who are you? Hello, Brad. Here we are. Hi, how are you? Good. Hi, Adrian. Hello, the people. Hello, Adrian. Hello, Athena. Hello, Kath. Thanks, Mick. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hi, Kath. Hello again. Yes, hello again. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Brad. Hello, Adrian. Hi, Adrian. Athena, hello. Hi, Athena. <laughs> hello. I can't really hear. I'm trying to get my volume right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's the story of the day around here. Oh, yeah. Oh.
Jim, can you hear us now? Okay, I can hear now. I forgot I have my uh, earplugs plugged in. Oh, here we go. Uh, Ms. Renta, can you hear us? You are muted if you're trying to answer. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Betty. Oh, she's not here yet. She's coming. There she is. Hi, Betty. I think I'm going to go join Hi. from my desktop. I'll be right back. I don't know what's going on with my laptop. Okay, okay. Kim. Evening. Hello, Mr. Farmer. Hello, Ms. Baez. Okay, I can hear. Can you guys hear me? Yep. I can hear okay. you, Kim. Okay. <clears throat> We'll give it just one more minute or two for people to get uh, um, logged on and just a note on process. We first, we have, I believe, four pieces of written public input, Ms. Renta? Yes. Uh, so we'll have that first. If I'll ask you to share your screen in a few minutes and then we'll just ask people to have their full names um, for their Zoom ID uh, and uh, raise your hand um, and we'll uh, bring you in to talk. Uh, and then every person will have three minutes and then we'll move on to the next person. Um, and so we'll just give another minute for other folks to get logged in here. We uh, probably have a few on the way still. Jaron's in the, oh, you got him. <laughs> just got him. <laughs> Hello, Jaron. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Jaron. Good evening. Good evening. All right, uh, why don't we go ahead and get started. I'll open up uh, our uh, public hearings on the Board of Ed side of the uh, uh, budget before the council um, at 7.06. Uh, we'll begin with uh, written um, input. Uh, Ms. Renta has emailed around to all council members uh, the public input that was received via email. It is also available on the town website. Uh, but Ms. Renta, uh, would you be so kind as to share your screen and um, so we can see it uh, visually? And so why don't we take it? There were four, but not too long, if I recall, Ms. Renta. So. Uh, say about 10 minutes of, of uh, reading time? Yeah. Okay, we'll go with that.
All right, uh, we'll take two more minutes of reading time. And that will conclude our written public input uh, for the Board of Education budget. I would ask folks, if at all possible, please identify yourself by your full name in uh, the attendees. If you hover over your name, uh, two boxes should appear. One says more, or uh, maybe just one box appears that says more. If you hover over that, uh, you should be able to rename yourself. So if you can, please put your full name in. And our first a uh, public speaker this evening will be uh, Mr. George Levinson. Mr. Levinson, just a moment, please. Uh, Mr. Levinson, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Mick. Uh, I, uh, I have spent some time uh, just today, actually, with uh, Superintendent Bowler and his financial uh, uh, director, Tom Ariola, trying to understand this budget. And it is quite the dilemma, I must say. They're saying they need 3.4% or 3.4 million increase. And as nearly as I can tell, the, the, the Board of Education is insatiable. There is no amount of dollars that they will not consume. Just to give you an idea of what's going on in this budget, uh, the teachers are all getting a 2% raise. That's $77,000 average pay for teachers. That's well above the state average. The directors and the, and the principals get over 3%, both of them. And they're averaging over 140000 in regular pay. The cost of student aids has gone up 3.73%. In fact, the total salary budget is up to over two and a half percent, nearly $64 million for salaries alone. The uh, other huge increases are in professional services, the cost of buses, et cetera, et cetera. The, the biggest increase of all is in special education. 928 students requiring special education and a hundred of them, a hundred of them have to go to actually uh, special non-public schools averaging over a hundred thousand a piece. And another hundred go to special ed facilities like Wintergreen and other, and other schools in here in Hamden. Uh, the special education budget is up uh, 28%. Um, 
I don't know where the end is. I really don't. Uh, you get hundreds of people that will come forward and give the Board of Education anything you want. they want. It's for the kids. I want the kids to get a good education, too. But I don't think you solve that with money. Uh, the mayor has, uh, has only given a $1.5 million increase versus the 3.4 requested. And uh, for once, I actually agree with the mayor. I think, uh, I think it's, uh, it's time to say enough is enough with the schools and the spending and to force them, to force them to, st to stop the bleeding, cut some of the raises. And if they, if they can't cut the raises, cut some staff. We've got a huge staff. Over a thousand people work for the Board of Education, including part-timers, 860 some odd uh, Mr. Levinson, uh, that's three minutes. Could you wrap up your thoughts, please, sir? I sure can. So uh, I uh, I am hoping to see the schools succeed, but I was I'm hoping for them to succeed without having unlimited money. And uh, this year is going to be a hard one, and uh, it's time for uh, it's time to draw some lines in the sand. I'm afraid. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Levinson. Um, the person identified as Vera. I'm going to bring you in for the speaking. Please identify yourself with your full name. And uh, you have three minutes, and the floor is yours. Uh, Vera, you are uh, muted at this time if you're trying to communicate with us. Or maybe if you can take the mute off for her. Uh, I can only ask to unmute, which I'm doing. Um, just a reminder, Council President, um, the mute for people, it's going to be on your left hand side. And there's going to be a cross, a red cross over a microphone icon. So if you click on that, you should be able to unmute yourself. Thank you, Mr. Farmer. Uh, Vera, I think we'll we'll move on. Uh, if you can, um, uh, you know, as Mr. Farmer said, if you hover your mouse towards the bottom, and then go left, there should be a, a microphone. I think the space bar might mute and unmute as well. I'm not positive. Correct. Ms. Renter, are you able down. to unmute Vera? I'm, I'm... No, I get what you get. Make ask to unmute. I can only ask her. Um, oh, but you she know, can try try the space I have, bar. I have a a thought. I'm gonna, what I'm going to try to do here is promote her onto the panel and then perhaps we can uh, mute or unmute. Uh, oh, it went out and it went back on. We had it for a minute. If you hold down the space bar as well, as long as you're holding down the space bar, you'll be unmuted. Mm. I can't seem to, uh, yeah, I can't, uh, even with her in the panel, I can't unmute her. She might be on a phone too. I might not have a space bar. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, so, ma'am, we're going to move on. Uh, I'll ask Ms. Garrett uh, next, and if you can uh, discover that, or if you can text one of us or email Ms. Renta, uh, we could we could read uh, your uh, uh, your thoughts out as well, um, or myself. It was krenta at Hampton.com or M. McGarry at Hampton.com. And uh, Mr. Farmer again, very generous, generously offering up his uh, number. Uh, so, Ms. Rear, we'll come back to you, but uh, we'll move on to uh, Lauren Garrett. Ms. Garrett, uh, the floor is yours. Please unmute yourself, and you have three minutes. Good evening. I wanted to take a minute to thank the educators who have gone into classrooms with the fear of bringing home a deadly virus to their family or having a transmission in their classroom that got a student's family sick. I've seen you teach on Zoom to blocks of names on the screen and still found ways to engage students. I want to thank the district for mobilizing for food and technology distribution and adapting quickly to care for our families. As we get back to a more normal life next year, please ensure that the Board of Education 
is prepared to deal with learning loss and the social emotional scars of this pandemic that could last longer than the term of the American Recovery Act. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Garrett. And Vera, we're still hoping you'll be able to unmute yourself. Or if you can contact Mr. Farmer or, uh, or Ms. Renta or myself. Uh, pending that, we'll ask if there's anyone else uh, in the audience who would like to address the council on the Board of Ed side of the budget this evening. Um, or if there is a budget question or a budget uh, comment in general you'd like to make, seeing as um, we do have some time available to us. I'm only here to listen. Oh. Oh, oh, certainly. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. You had your uh, hand up though. I, I thought you were looking for- uh, Oh no. Okay, well, I will uh, change that. Sorry about that. Is there any other member from the public who'd like to speak to the council about the Board of Ed budget? Is there any other member of the public would like to speak to the council on the Board of Education budget? Is there any other member of the public who would like to speak to the council about the Board of Education budget? Council President, just a reminder, um, if someone is interested, uh, we're encouraging them to raise their hand. Um, yes. And it's the feature at the bottom says raise hand if you're on your computer. Yeah, if anyone uh, would like to, please, uh, if you go down to your bottom screen, if you hover there, click on more and a raise hand option should come up. We'll give it another moment or two. Uh, when we have been in person, there have been several times when uh, it's just taken a moment or two for people to uh, prepare their thoughts and uh, come before the council so we can take a moment or two. Is there any moment a member of the public would like to speak to the council on the Board of Education budget? Uh, if so, please just raise your hand. Is there any member of the public who'd like to uh, speak to the council about the Board of Education budget or uh, the budget in general? Okay, hey, seeing none, I'm gonna close our public hearing. Uh, my folks, we will start our deliberations on Tuesday the 6th. Uh, also a scheduling note, well, I will send out the schedule tomorrow after conferring uh, with uh, some of our finance team today about uh, areas of the budget that perhaps need more time. There are parts of the budget where we, we rely on information from the state and information from outside vendors to help us uh, uh, calculate the numbers that go into the budget. At times, these require, uh, well, even when the budget is passed, we're still not entirely sure what the budget uh, of the state will be. So there is some ambiguity there, um, but sometimes it is best to let some uh, departments wait a little bit. Uh, so we'll send out that schedule tomorrow. Uh, in addition, tomorrow, uh, we will receive notice of a special meeting uh, of the council immediately prior um, to our committee meetings on Monday. Uh, and that is due, uh, as we mentioned before, we had some technical issues with our last meeting and uh, there are some changes that need to occur to the language. I believe Ms. Rente was the dates of the reappointments. 
yes, the dates of the reappointments were down with previous paperwork and not revised paperwork that was sent later. Uh, so we have some revisions that we'll introduce and make. Uh, and also on Ms. Gruen's um, advice, we're also just going to reaffirm that evening's uh, vote. Um, so hopefully we can take care of that in a relatively uh, quick fashion and we'll move on to our uh, committee meetings and Mr. Jackson and our finance team will be presenting uh, for the finance committee. And um, Ms. Dolan, although not here, has uh, mentioned folks on um, not on the finance committee uh, still will be open to ask questions uh, so that we can um, uh, get those answers that we needed about the uh, budget and from um, our finance team in general. Mr. McDowell. Uh, what time will we be convening the uh, special meeting? Is that 6 or 6.30? Uh, 6.45. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. And then uh, we'll move on to our committee meetings. All right, so uh, then without further ado, we're heading into a holiday weekend. If For those who celebrate, uh, please enjoy and um, best wishes. So, good night, everyone. Safe travels. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, all.